Hello today's video we have the following content. Actor Luo Jin, he met his wife during filming, became a father at the age of 39, and doted on his wife like a treasure after four years of marriage. Recently, actor Luo Jin's screen performance has been unparalleled. On the other side, the TV series Happiness to 10,000 Homes in which he participated is being broadcast in full swing, sparking heated discussions among the audience. On this side, the new drama The Long River of the World in which he leads the starring role is also on the list of waiting to be broadcast and is highly anticipated. Luo Jing can be said to be cautious and steady in his career, and his acting career is becoming more and more broad, showing unlimited possibilities. On the journey of life, he is also growing and harvesting all the way, just like a seed silently absorbing nutrients in the soil and quietly blooming. Today, we trace Luo Jin's steps and explore those story fragments in his experience that are worth telling. Years are like poems, and that paragraph of text is like a stroke in a scroll, delicately depicting the bits and pieces of life. Between the lines, the mark of time flows, as if telling an unknown story. Those ordinary daily life, under the carving of words, become so moving, as if every moment is full of poetry and charm. Luo Jin, this talented man was born in 1981 and is the pure blood of Jiang Gao. His father is a surgical expert. He has high hopes for Luo Jin since he was a child and teaches him very strictly. In contrast, Luo Jin's mother is like a spring breeze, warm and gentle. However, these are just the tip of the iceberg. In the Luo family, it is not uncommon for men and women to punish together. Talking about this, Luo's parents' strictness has its own reasons. Luo Jin once said leisurely in a program that he was quite naughty when he was a child full of energy, like a pony running away, jumping every day, and it is difficult to find a moment of peace. For example, it often rains in the south. On every wet day, parents always remind their children to pay attention to their feet when walking and not to get their shoes wet. However, Luo Jin seemed like a rebellious teenager, deliberately stepping into the puddle. Such trivial matters are like stars, and it is difficult to count them all. From the perspective of parents, Timely guidance and correction of such children is also a kind of educational wisdom. However, the parents' deep love is consistent. Whenever they severely admonish their son, they always come to Luo Jin's bed quietly in the dead of night and silently pour out their heartache. In some quiet moments, Luo Jin is often awakened by his parents' gentle voices, and the warm care quietly flows in his heart. Every time he wakes up, he can deeply feel the deep love of his parents so he silently vows in his heart that he will restrain his mischief in the future and no longer worry his parents. However, as the saying goes, although the mountains and rivers are easy to describe, the nature is difficult to draw. Even if the child makes countless vows, the playful nature is hard to change, and from time to time it will stir up some waves that make the parents feel uneasy. In Luo Jin's world, it seems that only one thing can bring him peace, that is to concentrate on disassembling and assembling various objects at home. Especially for those delicate objects with dense screws, he can't resist their charm, as if he can find the home of his soul in every disassembly and assembly. At that time, Luo Jin was obsessed with disassembling and assembling the phone, and used the phone at home as a test product countless times, and carefully pondered it. Until later, his technique was even more skilled and faster than the professionals in the repair department, and the phone seemed to have become a handy toy in his hands. In addition, Luo Jin has a special liking for the scenery by the river, and always loves to linger by the shimmering water. When he was young, he encountered thrilling moments many times when playing by the river, and one of them made him feel the threat of death, as if his life was hanging by a thread. In the long river of time, this passage is like a bright star, shining with the light of wisdom. It gently tells the joys and sorrows of the world, but reveals a kind of tranquility and beauty that transcends the world. Every word and every sentence is like a drop of crystal dew, gathering into a clear stream, flowing deep in the heart, moistening our soul. That hot summer day, Luo Jin came to the riverside leisurely as usual, and the joy in his heart was like a bird that broke out of the cage and flew freely in the sky. Perhaps because of the excessive joy in his heart, he was like a happy rabbit, jumping and jumping and lost his sense of proportion, and accidentally stepped into the sparkling water. Although the river was not deep, it was enough to make Luo Jin frightened, as if his soul was scared and scattered. He was in a hurry and struggled hard, trying to break free from the bondage, but his body was like being bound by invisible shackles and he couldn't stand up anyway. Wandering on the edge of despair, he seemed to be in a maze of time. Everything in front of him was slowly unfolding with slow shots, and even the gurgling sound of water was leisurely and contented, 
like a low and shallow ancient tune. However, Luo Jin's fate seemed to be helped by God that time, and he was finally able to escape danger and was rescued to the shore by everyone. If he were an ordinary child, after experiencing such a thrilling experience, he might not be able to avoid it and stay away from the surging river. However, Luo Jin was born with extraordinary courage. Not only did he not retreat, but he set foot in that water again, and he even learned the skills of cruising in the wind and waves, showing extraordinary courage and perseverance. Once, facing a drowning person, he resolutely jumped into the waves with the determination to save people. However, due to his lack of experience, he almost put himself in danger. As a child, Luo Jin was as gorgeous as the flowers in spring, always dazzling. His liveliness and activity often made his parents worried and worried all the time. In order to make Luo Jin restrain himself, his father ordered him to sweat on the construction site and move bricks for a living. Who knew that Luo Jin's heart was as hard as iron, and he really worked hard on the construction site day after day. Until his mother couldn't bear it anymore, she took her son's hand and guided him back to the sea of books and back to the classroom. That year, he was 11 years old. Luo's parents came up with a plan. Since this young man was full of endless energy, why not find a quiet place to let him release his passion and energy? They resolutely sent their son to the famous martial arts school in Hunan, hoping that he could practice martial arts under the careful guidance of the master and appreciate the mystery. Recalling this past, Luo Jin couldn't help but smile. When he returned home from school that day, he saw the luggage piled up in the room and his parents were nowhere to be seen. The next morning, Luo Jin was still asleep, and his parents had quietly woken him up and led him into the car. He leaned against the car window, bumping along the way with sleepy eyes, and suddenly woke up when he reached the destination. When he opened his eyes, he saw an unfamiliar martial arts school in front of him, waiting for his arrival. In this land, Luo Jin has experienced many hardships and hardships, and suffered from wind and frost. In the long river of time, this passage is like a flowing poetry, quietly blooming. It tells the bits and pieces of life, depicts the outline of time, and every word and sentence is filled with the breath of literature and art. There is no need for too much explanation, just quietly savor it, and you can feel the deep meaning and beauty contained in it. In the long years of the martial arts school, spring goes and autumn comes, and the students always stick to the morning exercise time at 4.30 in the morning. Regardless of wind, frost, rain, snow, or warm sun, they are in that quiet dawn, with firm steps and sonorous breathing, to meet the challenges and tempering of the new day. In the days of push-up training, they must use their fists as support, day after day, month after month, causing the back of their hands to be left with layers of calluses, like a mark of tenacity. When punished, students need to clench their fists, use their torsos as support, and stand upside down on the plum tree stump, standing for a long time. During this period, tears, sweat and snot intertwined and fell, and the number of drops could not be counted. In this world, Luo Jin's body has gone through wind and rain, not only has his physique become stronger, but also has forged a rock-hard will in the years of tempering. Once, when Luo Jin was practicing sword hard, the coach's sword accidentally brushed across his skin, leaving a striking scar. Blood trickled out, staining the pair of flawless white shoes. However, the coach didn't seem to care about it. He just lyly told other students to bandage it with tape, and then continued to guide other students to practice. Half a month passed quickly, and Luo Jin's injury became more and more serious. After all, he was not spared, and the fire invaded his muscles and bones. In desperation, he had to temporarily leave the hustle and bustle and concentrate on recuperating for more than a month to wait for the wound to heal. At that time, his mother worriedly advised that if the martial arts school life was too difficult, he might give up and don't force it. Luo Jin shook his head gently, denying the misunderstanding that he seemed to be keen on suffering. In his heart, he was not chasing the abyss of pain, but was afraid of disappointing his father's expectations. As time went by, Luo Jin always talked about his martial arts school years with emotion. That period of time, which was only more than a year, was like the brightest star in the starry sky, shining and important to him. It was like a sharp blade that sharpened his wool, allowing Luo Jin's stress resistance to have a qualitative leap. From then on, no matter what kind of changes he encountered, he could remain calm and bear it calmly. Indeed, Luo Jin's journey was like a flowing poem. He bid farewell to the dust of the martial arts school, then stepped into the threshold of the drama school, and finally blossomed his brilliance at the Beijing Film Academy.
In college, many classmates felt overwhelmed in the tempering of physical education classes, but Luo Jin seemed to be swimming in water, without any discomfort. For him, this was just a warm-up dance, effortless. It is that steel like will that gives Luo Jin the confidence and concentration after he enters the industry. He treats every shooting seriously with a wholehearted attitude. Because of this, his partners who fight side by side with him always remember him involuntarily whenever a new job opportunity comes, and look forward to working together again. A few years have passed, and Luo Jin's reputation has risen, becoming a shining star in the entertainment industry. And in those long years of filming, he also encountered a dreamlike love story. Time flies, like a white horse passing by, in a blink of an eye, the youth of the past has quietly passed, leaving only mottled memories and endless emotions. Looking back on the past, those laughter and tears have turned into a touch of sadness in my heart. Time is not a residence, and the years are like a stream. In this long journey of life, we are constantly pursuing our own dreams and hopes. In 2011, time passed gently, and on the screen of Gone with the Wind, the fate of Luo Jin and Tang Yang quietly began. When they first met, there was no ripple in their hearts, no heart-pounding feelings were aroused, and naturally there was no lingering love at first sight. At that moment, they had no time to focus on other things, and no ripples in their hearts, just because Tang Yan and Qi Yuzhe were quietly writing a love song, but they had never made it public to the outside world. However, there was also a good story between Luo Jin and his former partner Mi Apu, and rumors were flying. It was not until Gone with the Wind was about to be released that the subtle relationship between Luo Jin and Tang Yan was gradually captured by the media, but both of them denied the speculation of the outside world, making this candle just a rumor after all. It is quite interesting that although Luo Jin and Tang Yan have not yet ignited the spark of love outside the play, the audience loves them on the screen. As time goes by, Luo Jin and Tang Yan have repeatedly worked together to interpret love on the screen. This deep love and shallow fate is also destined. However, despite having worked together several times, Tang Yan still admitted in an interview that before the Princess Wei Young, she and Luo Jin were just passers-by in the same industry, and there was not much intersection between them. Whenever the lights of the crew went out, they were like two parallel tracks, no longer leaving any contact information, and each walked towards their own future. The river of emotions is always so unpredictable and profound and the indifference of the past does not mean eternal silence. When filming The Princess Wei Young in 2015, they seemed to suddenly understand each other's strengths, as if they had lifted a mysterious veil and discovered each other's hidden treasures. In Tang Yan's eyes, Luo Jin is like a pianist who is good at plucking people's hearts, and can always carefully capture everyone's emotional changes. He is always gentle and generous to people, and his care is like a spring breeze, warm and pleasant. Whenever he saw the hard-working workers in the crew, he would always feel compassion in his heart, so he would quietly buy them some cool drinks to express his love and respect. When Luo Jin first met Tang Yan, he felt that she was as innocent as a girl next door. However, as the cooperation deepened, he gradually discovered the unique light in Tang Yan, as dazzling as the stars. When filming the Princess Wei Young, he felt more and more that Tang Yan, a woman, was like a painting of the North and the South with the boldness and tenacity of northern women, and the gentleness and delicacy of southern women. Such a flawless opposite sex naturally captured his heart easily. At that time, Luo Jin plucked up the courage to confide in Tang Yan. This tacit partner who once fought side by side in their careers has now quietly opened a new emotional chapter in the long river of life. As the two people's deep feelings and the vision of spending the future together became stronger, meeting the parents of both parties became the new journey they were about to embark on. Time flies, and it seems like a lifetime ago. The laughter and joy of the past are now only faint memories. Every emotion, under the polishing of time, has become an eternal mark in the heart. Although the time we spent together has gradually gone away, the innocence and beauty are still as clear as the first time we saw each other. Everyone who is familiar with Tang Yan knows that she is a darling girl from prosperous Shanghai. As for Luo Jin's parents, although they were born in Shangzi, they have a close relationship with Shanghai. In the 1960s and 1970s, countless Shanghai-educated youth left their footprints on the land of Zhangzi. Luo Jin's parents spent time with them, and their friendship was deep, like family. As time went by, their friendship became stronger and stronger, and eventually they became indispensable friends in each other's lives. When they learned that their son had found a beautiful woman, a darling girl from Shanghai, they were full of joy and expressed their support. When Tang Yan arrived, 
Her gentleness and intelligence made them happy and they fell deeply in love with the girl. Luo Jin personally visited Tang Yan's parents at her home, and won their hearts and praised them highly. The two elders smiled and talked to Tang Yan, saying that Luo Jin was virtuous and kind, and they all got what they wanted. This young man, simple and unpretentious, walked firmly, like a son of the earth, and every step was solid and powerful. After the warm test of both parents, Tang Yan and Luo Jin's hearts became more determined, and they confirmed each other affectionately. On December 6, 2016, Luo Jin disclosed a photo of him and Tang Yan on the social platform, bravely and frankly announcing the prelude of this love. Afterwards, Tang Yan followed suit and forwarded this declaration of love. At that moment, the hearts of each other, like bright stars, illuminated each other's world. In order to create a romantic and solemn atmosphere, Luo Jin deliberately froze the moment of the announcement at 12.06 midnight. This moment subtly reflects the day of Tang Yan's birth, like a sweet melody destined by fate, gently playing in the long river of time. It can be seen that Luo Jin is deeply affectionate to Tang Yan and has a heart for her. After two years of love, they often inadvertently reveal their deep affection and quietly spread the fragrance of love. On a bright New Year's Eve in 2017, they performed a dreamy song Crystal together. In the subsequent interactive time, Luo Jin hid a delicate pink candy in his hand and quietly handed it to Tang Yan's palm. At that moment, everyone on the sidelines was fascinated by it, as if they were in a sweet painting. A dreamlike relationship will eventually lead to the palace of marriage and integrate into the daily life of firewood, rice, oil and salt. In 2018, the couple gently announced their good news to the world on the social platform, they are about to enter the palace of marriage hand in hand. Time flies, and a year has passed in the blink of an eye. The good news that Tang Yan is pregnant has spread far and wide. Time flows to 2020, and Luo Jin finally gets to see his daughter's face. From then on, he has been promoted to the ranks of fathers, shouldering new responsibilities and glory. In the gentle atmosphere of an interview, someone gently asked Luo Jin about his feelings when he first saw his daughter. Luo Jin's eyes were calm and his tone was leisurely. He frankly said that perhaps because he had experienced too many joys and sorrows in the play, when this important scene of life really began, he could be so calm. Unexpectedly, his few words set off a magnificent public opinion storm on the internet. Some netizens sighed that he really lacked a considerate tenderness, but is the truth really as the outside world speculated? When the sun gently sprinkles on every inch of land, the years flow quietly and silently, gently passing through our hearts. In this quiet time, we pursue the trajectory of our dreams and feel the beauty and warmth of life. Every effort and persistence is to make the original intention more brilliant and illuminate our way forward. Speaking of this, perhaps Ms. Tang Yan has the most say, and her views are undoubtedly the most representative. And she once inadvertently mentioned in a program that on the day of giving birth, she stepped out of the delivery room, extremely tired, and rested deeply. Luo Jin, with a new life in his arms, sleepless day and night hugged his daughter Tylee in his arms, and silently guarded the warmth of the new life. As long as his daughter made a sound of discomfort, Luo Jin would look nervous, carefully explore, and find out where the child was uncomfortable to relieve her suffering. Since the birth of the child, Tang Yan's life focus has quietly shifted to the family, and the pace of career has stopped for the time being. Luo Jin has been shooting outside all year round, and home has become a hindrance in his heart. Whenever there is no noise from children at home, he will rush home after the filming, eager to enjoy a few days of peace and rest at home. Since the birth of his child, Luo Jin has always been devoted to his child when he returns home after filming, and has tried his best to spend time with his child. Every morning, Tang Yan opens her eyes and sees Luo Jin and his daughter laughing and playing for a long time, as if the time has been quietly treasured by them. Talking about Luo Jin, the new father, Tang Yan smiled and said softly, We are both new parents groping forward on the road of parenting. However, the responsibility and efforts he has shown in this are really remarkable, and I really think he has done a great job. It seems that those netizens who think that Luo Jin lacks love for his wife and daughter are really too sensitive. Recently, rumors about Luo Jin and Tang Yan's marriage have resurfaced, and it seems that the emotional boat of the two has encountered storms. However, looking back to April this year, Host CAO Kevin mentioned that Luo Jin and Tang Yan have great love in their hearts and have extended a helping hand to compatriots affected by the epidemic through a charity foundation. Their good deeds are like a spring breeze, warming people's hearts. On this charity stage, the two walk side by side, 
which was enough to prove that the harmony between them was not shaken by the wind and rain, and that deep friendship shone brightly in the flame of public welfare. Time flies, like a dream, and it has been seven years in a blink of an eye. Looking back on the past, those laughters, joys and sorrows, separations and reunions, have all become a thing of the past, only the persistence and perseverance in my heart, like an immortal star, illuminate my way forward. Luo Jin, the brilliant star in the film and television industry, is indeed covered with glory, but tracing his growth trajectory, it is not difficult to find that there must be a reason behind his success. The iron face and strict training of his parents has forged a solid ladder for Luo Jin to succeed. Luo Jin's tenacious, sunny and optimistic character is the source of his courage and determination. The joy of first sight is like a spring breeze, which makes people feel excited, but the long-lasting emotions seem to be able to forge eternal love. Perhaps it is this careful consideration that makes Luo Jin particularly cautious and focused when looking for a life partner. He observes carefully and waits patiently until he has a thorough understanding of a person's inner world, and then he bravely takes the first step in pursuit. Perhaps what Tang Yan's mother said is true. Luo Jin's most notable characteristic is his down-to-earth and steady nature. No matter where he lives, as long as he is determined, his steps are firm, and he leaves his mark on the stone, he can enjoy the good years and spend his life leisurely. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,